Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-uusapan naman natin ang kaibahan ng fork at ng secant line at yung mga properties and theorems na pwede natin gamitin para makapagsagot tayo ng mga problems on circles sa geometry. And for today, pag-uusapan natin yung mga problems natin involving chords sa circles. At syempre, tulad ng marami nating uh, problems involving chords at parts ng mga circles, dapat alamin natin yung mga tagure at mga words associated with circle. At yan na nga, yung tutukuyin natin sa lesson natin ngayon, which is yung chord, which is by definition and using the diagram na nakikita nyo ngayon, ay a chord is a segment whose endpoints are on a circle. So nakikita ninyo yung ating line segment PQ na nakikita natin dyan sa ating circle. So ito yung ating line segment at ito daw ay isang chord dahil yung kanyang endpoint which is P and Q ay nasa circle. So ang difference ng chord at ng tangent line, ang ating chord ay nasa loob ng circle, ang ating tangent line ay nasa ibabaw lamang ng ating circle and would only intersect our circle once. And by the diagram, tulad nga nito, yung ating chord PQ ay related raw sa arc PQ. Dahil kung meron tayong line segment PQ, which happens to be our secant line, it will produce a an arc which can be called as arc PQ. At ang notation natin dyan ay yung ating line segment PQ at yung ating arc PQ na may arc na symbol sa ibabaw. So kung meron tayong another example of a chord which is chord AB, pwede tayong magsulat ng chord AB according to its notation which is given by line segment AB at yung arc na associated sa kanya ay si arc AB. So yan yung dalawang uh, uh, parts ng circle na pwede natin maproduce kapag gumagamit tayo ng chord. Meron tayong arc at meron tayong chord or yung ating line segment. Now, ano nga ba yung ating secant line? So, ang secant line ay associated rin sa chord dahil, let's say, yung ating line segment PQ, which is our chord PQ, kapag in-extend natin yung kanyang line sa magkabilang dulo, yung ating line na mapuproduce, yan yung tinatawag nating secant line or line PQ na by definition, a secant is a line that cuts any curve in at least two different points, which is in this case, P and Q. So, yan yung difference ng ating tangent line at ng ating secant line. And for today, pag-uusapan natin yung mga theorems associated sa mga chords na dapat natin malaman para makapagsagot tayo ng mas maraming problems involving chords. So, unahin natin yung congruent central angles and arc theorem. So, dito... Sabi dito sa ating theorem, within a circle or in congruent circles, congruent central angles have congruent arcs. So, napakadaming congruency. So, ibig lang sabihin yan, kung meron tayong diagram ng circle, mas maiintindihan at mauunawaan natin yung ating congruent central angles and arc theorem and its converse. So, yung converse, yun yung parang kabaligtaran ng ating theorem that will still hold through, true, kapag ka pinag-ibahan pinag-iba natin yung ating mga elements. So, tingnan na natin yung ating diagram which is a circle O at sabi dito, congruent circles or congruent central angles have congruent arcs. So, kuha tayo na isang Central angle, at alam natin by definition, ang central angle or angles na meron tayo sa circle na kung saan yung ating vertex ay yung center ng ating circle. So ito ay isang central angle and we will call this central angle BOA or AOB. At sabi dito, pag meron tayong congruent central angles, so let's say itong central angle na to na DC at magkapareha sila or congruent yung AB kay CD, yung kanilang mga arcs, ay congruent rin. So, yung ating arc AB at yung ating arc CD would also be congruent. At yan yung ating theorem or congruent central angles and arc theorem na tinatawag sa geometry na kapag meron tayong magkaparehas na measurement ng central angle, parehas din yung measurement ng kanyang arc 
measure. At yung converse niya, syempre, kung meron naman tayo yung congruent arc, arc AB, congruent to arc CD, then yung kanya mga central angles, central angle AOC, and COD ay also congruent. So, yan yung ating first theorem na magagamit natin sa mga problems natin in a little while. Now, yung second theorem natin ay yung tinatawag natin congruent central angles and chords theorem. So, kung, kay, kung kanina pinag-usapan natin yung mga congruent arcs kapag meron tayong congruent central angles, ito naman ay yung kanyang mga chords. So, paano natin i-illustrate yung ating second theorem about chords and congruent central angle. So let's say meron li tayong circle O at meron tayong congruent central angle AB at central angle CD, yung kanila daw mga chords na binubuo ng line segment AB and CD would be congruent. So pag kinonek natin si line segment AB at si line segment CD, Congruent din yung mga linya nila or meron silang same length dahil dito sa ating theorem na ito. So ito yung ating illustration by notation ng theorem ng congruent central angles and chord theorem which is if central angle AOC is congruent to central angle COD, then chord AB is congruent to chord CD. At yung kanyang converse, kung meron tayong congruent chords, which is chord A, B, and C, D, then yung kanilang mga central angle na associated dito sa ating mga chord will also be congruent. So yan yung ating second theorem, congruent central angles and chords, chords theorem na parehas lang may pagkakahawig doon sa nauna. Ang kaibahan nga lang dito, ang uh, focus natin ay yung chord na nabubuo dito sa ating central angle. At yung ating third Theorem na pag-uusapan, congruent arcs and chords theorem. So ano nga ba itong ating third theorem about chords in a circle? So within a circle or in congruent circle, congruent chords have congruent arcs. So ibig sabihin yan, kung meron tayong circle at meron tayong mga congruent chords, let's say chord AB and chord CD, yung kanila daw mga arcs ay congruent din. So, si arc AB at si arc CD ay magkaparehas ng measurement or arc measure at magkaparehas din ng arc length. So, yan yung ating uh, pangatlong um, theorem about chords in a circle na kapag isinulat natin yung ating theorem using mathematical notation. So, dito, if... Nauna natin yung mga chords. So, if chord AB ay congruent kay chord CD, then si arc AB ay congruent din kay arc CD. So, ito yung ating notation. At tulad nga na sinabi ko sa inyo, kapag ka nag-aaral tayo ng lesson on geometry, dapat alam natin siyang isulat at basahin according to the notations or symbols na ginagamit natin dito. So kung ating uh, isusulat ng mas maayos at hindi mukhang uh, sinulat ng manok, if chord AB is congruent to chord CD, then arc AB is also congruent to arc CD. At ang kanyang converse, if arc AB is congruent to arc CD, then chord AB is congruent to chord CD. So, yan yung ating uh, congruency sa arcs and chord. At yung ating last theorem for today, ito yung chord equidistant from the center are congruent theorem. At dito, within a circle or in a congruent circles, chords equidistant from the center or centers are also congruent. So, yan yung mga um, chords na merong mga same distances from each other. So, bigyan natin ng diagram itong theorem na ito para mas maunawaan natin siya. So, meron tayong circle O at meron tayo ditong chord AB at chord C or yeah, CD. At mapapansin ninyo na kahit magkaiba siya ng angle formation or kung hindi katulad nung mga nauna nating uh, circle, meron siyang congruent 
chords. So, ibig sabihin niyan, yung congruent chords na yan, kapag ka equidistant sila from each other mula sa center. So, let's say, meron tayo ditong uh, line segment na equal ang distances at nagbubuo siya ng right angle, then congruent yung ating mga line segments. So, yan yung sinasabi sa chord equidistance from the center that are also congruent kapag ka meron tayong ganitong forma. So, tandaan natin, kailangan lang yung dalawang chord natin ay equidistance or same distance sa ating uh, center para magkaroon tayo ng conclusion na parehas ang sukat or haba ni line segment AB at CD. So, by notation, if line OE is congruent to line OF, so OE and OF, nalimutan ko lang lagyan ng E and F ito, pero ito yung ating E at ito yung ating F, then line segment AB or chord AB is also congruent to CD. At yung kanyang converse, if chord AB is congruent to chord CD, then line OE is congruent to line OF. At yan yung ating line segment na nabuo sa pag uh, um, sulat nung dalawang chords AB and CD na equidistant sa ating center. So, paano natin gagamitin yung mga theorems na yan para makapag-solve tayo ng problems on geometry? Let's say meron tayong circle. Ito yung ating circle. Hahanapin natin ngayon yung length ni RS sa circle O. So, paano natin hahanapin yung measurement ni RS? Mapapansin ninyo na yung ating dalawang chords ay equidistant sa ating center. Paano natin nalaman yan? Dahil yung 90 degree na na-form mula doon sa ating center ay parehas na 9 units. So, ibig sabihin yan, pwede natin gamitin yung nakaraang theorem na kung saan kapag ka daw equidistant yung ating line segment, ibig sabihin yung ating dalawang chords ay congruent din. So, ang hahanapin na lang natin ngayon is yung measurement ni PR dahil pag nahanap natin si PR, mahahanap na rin natin ang line segment RS. At bakit si PR yung gagamitin natin? Dahil si PR yung mas maraming clues na pwede natin magamit para masukat natin si line segment RS. So, paano ba natin kukunin yung line segment PR? Alam natin na si PQ ay 12.5 at si PQ ay congruent kay QR or magkapareha sila ng measurement. Kaya, pwede nating kunin yung sukat ng dalawang yan at i-add natin together para makuha natin yung value ni PR which is 25. At since alam natin na ang measurement ni PR ay 25 units at alam din natin from our theorem na si RS ay congruent kay PR, ibig sabihin yan, ang measurement ni RS ay equal din kay PR which is 25 units. So, yan yung halaga sa pagkuha uh, or pag-intindi ng ating mga theorems involving chords and circle para makapaghanap tayo or makapagsukat tayo ng mga missing parts ng ating circle tulad ng problem na ito. So, ang ating math challenge or number bender challenge for today, hanapin nyo naman yung arc measure ni arc AB given this diagram. So, gamit ang inyong mga theorems na pinag natin kanina, masasagutan ninyo itong ating number bender challenge for the day. And yan ang ating lesson on theorems involving chords. So, alamin natin dapat ang kaibahan ng secant line at tangent line sa circles at kung paano natin gagamitin yung mga theorems sa ating uh, circle para makapag prove tayo ng ilang mga problems involving circle and chords sa geometry. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!